All right, probably the hardest part of this project is figuring out the standard dose of your toxin if you're using a toxin that is not like a standard medication where a dose is a, a pill and the pill has a, a very known and specific amount of, of, of medication in there. So um, if that's what you're doing, you're in good shape. This part won't be so bad for you. If you're like me and you chose a toxin that is a little, uh, a little more challenging, I'm going to walk you through my process for managing that. All right, so I've talked to you previously or, or shown you previously um, how to use PubChem to search for capsaicin, which is a toxin found in hot chili peppers. And so in thinking about the standard dose of capsaicin, I thought, well, I should probably begin by following my own advice, which to you was to do a Google search for the standard dose of whatever you're looking for. So I typed in standard dose of capsaicin and came up struggling to figure out what, what the standard dose would be. There's a lot of information out there, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. So that's okay. I can think of other ways to do this. I started thinking, well, how would I encounter capsaicin? Well, I eat it, and so one of the one of the ways that I eat it would be in a jalapeno. And so I could imagine a standard dose for me would be how much capsaicin is in one jalapeno. Okay, well, I know that my LD50 is in milligrams, so my next search is going to be milligrams of capsaicin per jalapeno pepper. And I do my Google search for that, and... The very first uh, entry at the top is an article that came from the Journal of Dairy Science, which is kind of funny. Uh, people who, who eat a lot of hot peppers and those challenges, they often will drink a glass of milk to try to quench the heat that they feel. Um, anyhow, this article says that there is an average of 1.12 milligrams of capsaicin per gram of dry jalapeno pepper. Okay. Well, that gets me a lot closer. Now I know how many milligrams are in a gram of dry jalapeno pepper, but I typically don't eat my jalapeno peppers dry. I eat them just, I guess, with all their water in them. So I thought, well, I should probably find out the mass, the average mass of a jalapeno pepper. And going to the store is not so easy right now, so I did a Google search for that. The average mass of one jalapeno pepper is about 15 to 25 grams. So somewhere in the 15 to 25 gram, I'm just going to say 20 grams is a, is a standard mass of a, of a jalapeno pepper with all of its water. Now if I do the average mass, if I do a search for the average mass of one dry jalapeno pepper, or dried, I guess, maybe it's the better way to do it. Let's see here. Dried, raw, hmm, let's see. Lots of raw stuff in here. Had a tough time finding anything with dry. So, carrying on. Came across another article um, that had a table in it. And it showed that about 90% of the mass of a couple different types of jalapenos. One's called the Grande and one's called the Ole. Um, they were harvested when they were green or when they were red. And you can see, I tend to eat my jalapenos when they're green, so I'm gonna go with the green. And the moisture content of these two different varieties of green jalapenos looks like it's in the ballpark of 90%. So that tells me that 90% of the mass of an average jalapeno is water. And if I go back to, to this entry, I'm interested in the average, or I want the um, the dry mass of a jalapeno. So if, if a jalapeno on average has a mass of 20 grams and 90% of that mass is from water, then the dry mass of a jalapeno would be 10% of 20 grams, which would be two grams. So this is telling me that on average, there's 1.12 milligrams of capsaicin per gram of dry jalapeno pepper. And for me, a dose of jalapeno pepper would consist of two, the equivalent of two dry grams. So I'd have to double this 1.12 times two, 
would be 2.24 milligrams of capsaicin per jalapeno pepper. So I finally got my dose. All right, again, you'll have to follow your own path. Be persistent, it's worth it. If you just feel completely stuck and you can't do this, then again, maybe consider picking a different toxin now that you know the, the path to follow. It shouldn't be too hard to, to redo the slides that you've done. Um, pick a toxin and, um, and then maybe the first thing to do would be to make sure that you can find the standard dose of that toxin. All right, good luck and good work.